We live on a wet planet, but most of this waterscape is salty and not fresh. Thankfully, there are rare threads of fresh water that intersect and sustain our lives. These waterways integrate our stewardship as waters carry elements of the atmosphere and land into creeks, lakes, and rivers. It is in these places of grace and integration that wonderfully crafted aquatic creatures attempt to live and reproduce with coordinated DNA. However, our top-down view of waters usually result in a two-dimensional, reflective perspective devoid of the life that lies below. We fail to see the beauty, wonder, and value of what happens in this hidden world. This lack of awareness can result in neglect and result in unintentional damage. A subsurface perspective can heighten awareness and improve our intentions. Some species of fish live within hours of our homes and yet have been viewed and photographed in their habitats less than the rarest of terrestrial animals in remote areas of the world thousands of miles away. This humble picture show goes below the surface of waters in the Pacific Northwest and uncovers mysteries, some of which have never been captured on video. Highlights include fish that have been recovered from endangerment, restored to natural habitats, and those that still need attention. Let's see what we have been missing and rejoice in this new subsurface perspective. This wonderful minnow, called the Oregon Chub, is an unlikely champion of recovery. It is not big, colorful, or glamorous, but it is the first fish that was removed from the endangered species list as a result of recovery. The fish was listed as endangered in 1993 because of how close it was to extinction. After monitoring and recovery efforts by many dedicated people over two decades, it was downlisted to threatened in 2010 and removed from the endangered species list in 2015. Despite its recent fame, only a handful of people have seen this fish in its native habitat. The Oregon Chub gives hope that success is possible when stewards are willing to faithfully work to restore value that is rarely seen below the surface. The signature cold water species in the Pacific Northwest is the bull trout. They are currently listed as threatened on the endangered species list. Bull trout require very cold water to survive. Discontinuities in the water clarity that you see in these pictures are the result of cold and warm waters mixing. You can also see other species such as sockeye salmon, steelhead trout, and cutthroat trout. Bull trout and other species that love cold water seek out cold water during periods of warming. As temperatures warm, cold water habitats such as these will be an important refuge to protect. As we protect refuges for other species, we understand our own need for a refuge and the need for grace from those that are more powerful than we are. Should we do unto others as we would have them do unto us? These sockeye salmon have been restored to spawning beds that have been fallow for many decades as the result of blockage by an irrigation dam. The music of life in this river had been silenced until the return of salmon was recently restored. What a joy to hear the music of gravels strummed together as the tales of mothers prepare their nests. The music of life has returned to this river. The cleansing extends beyond the gravel as the music cleanses our spirit. It demonstrates that restoration of these fish can restore our faith in persisting through difficult times. 
it also enforces that things unseen can be seen again if we will believe. We are approaching some juvenile coho salmon that have been reintroduced in areas above a concrete passage barrier. These fish were driven to extinction in large areas of the Columbia Basin because of overfishing, passage barriers, and habitat degradation. Experimental reintroduction efforts are attempting to reestablish natural runs of coho salmon to portions of their historic range. These fish are the hope of future generations. Restoration takes patience, perseverance, and a full scoop of hope. Let the coho salmon inspire us to restore the best of what has been taken from our lives. Cutthroat trout are named after their red slash mark below their lower jaw. These trout communicate with each other by flaring their fins and cheeks. These displays warn competitors to stay away or something more violent will occur, as you will witness. Cutthroat trout can be very aggressive towards others when food and space are scarce. They threaten, bite, butt, nip, and chase each other in order to maintain a home territory. Fish communicate with each other and it is always fun to try to decode their body language. The cutthroat trout reminds us that communication is important and that some things are worth fighting for. The first fish that was removed from the endangered species list, the Oregon chub, reminds us that we don't have to be the smartest, biggest, strongest, best looking or come from a speciose genus in order to be important and influential. Here, the speckled dace in black is working to achieve a common goal in partnership with the Oregon chub. The Oregon chub couldn't have achieved recovery without the partnership of many others that were dedicated to their future. It is through partnership with others that we will be able to repeat the Oregon chub story for other species and make the world a better place for all life. Is there enough faith on the earth to see what currently isn't seen and to live against the material flow of this world? The salmon does everything it can to populate the future. They travel near and far to secure resources. They avoid predators and hazards. They change their physiology, shape, and color to adapt to new circumstances. They navigate back to the place of their genesis, swimming against the flow and leaping over obstacles. They change their rocky surroundings with fins and body in preparation for planting the seeds of the future. Their last undying measure of devotion is given to the future. Even its worn out body contributes towards future life by contributing nutrients brought from the ocean to nutrient poor rivers in need of food. Let the story of salmon inspire you to live purposefully to benefit this and future generations.